Hi everyone, I'm so excited to share beginner yoga with you. So this practice is great if you've never done yoga before, if you're brand new, maybe you want a review on some yoga poses. We're gonna take it pretty slow and I'll break stuff down for you. Um, so I recommend having props. Um, definitely have a blanket with you. You can also use a towel. And then optional are yoga blocks. They look like this. You can also use books um, if they're the same size. Okay, so I think we're ready. We're gonna get started standing. So just come to your feet and you can stand with your feet wider than hips width. Have a, a little soft bend in the knees. We never wanna lock out the joints um, in the legs. And then I'd like for you to lift the chest, scrunch the shoulders up towards the ears for a moment, and then very gently soften them down the back. Okay, so we're gonna place one hand at the heart and one hand at the belly. And close your eyes as you're ready. And these first few moments are us just simply arriving and noticing. So starting from the crown of the head and moving all the way down the body, just notice how you feel today physically. And as you do that, you also wanna bring in breath. So breathing in and out through the nose is how we usually breathe in yoga unless we're doing a, a different kind of breath exercise. But today I'd like for you to just breathe in and out through the nose. Let it be simple. And you're just uh, starting to connect to your own natural rhythm of breathing. How does the breath feel? Is it deep? Is it shallow? Is it loud? Is it soft? How does the breath feel? And we'll take just a few more cycles, just establishing the presence of our physical body, our breath, and our attention. And as we add more movements, I really encourage you to stay with the breath. Okay, as you're ready, very gently blink your eyes open and then we'll release the arms down at the sides. From here, lower your chin towards your chest and then you'll take your chin over to one shoulder and create this whole circle with the neck. And you'll come over to the other shoulder with your chin and then chin to chest. Let's go to the other side. So over to the shoulder, going up, good. And then we come back, chin to chest, and then just gaze forward. Let's move into the shoulder. So inhaling, shoulders come up, exhaling, they soften down the back. Inhale, shoulders up, exhale, soften down the back. One more time, inhale, Exhale, now we'll go the other way, inhale. This is like the weird way, right? <laughs> but we wanna make sure we're doing both sides. Try to go with the breath, we have one more. Good. Really important are wrists in yoga. Um, so what I'd like for you to do is bring your forearms together. I'll actually turn to the side. Bring your forearms together, interlace your hands, and then we're just gonna roll wrist over wrist over wrist. Try to keep your shoulders soft. Try to keep the forearms together. And then go the other way, that weird way. <laughs> and then the first way again, rolling. And the opposite way. Good, all right, shake it out. Come back to stand with your feet. Maybe this time you can bring them in a little bit closer, so about hips width. We're gonna start to flow movement with breath, so start with the arms out at the sides. As you inhale, reach your arms out and up. As you exhale, draw your hands down into your heart. Let's do that again. Inhale, really expanding. Maybe you look up this time and exhale back to the heart. One more time, inhale. 
exhale. Now we're gonna add on to this. Inhale, reach. Exhale, bend your knees and fold. Take your hands to your shins and we'll come up and lengthen. So I'm gonna turn to the side to show you what this looks like. So my knees are still a little bent. Hands are at the shins. You can also bring your hands to your thighs if the shins are too far away. I want you to reach the heart forward. Good. And then on your exhale, go back to folding. Inhale, come all the way back up. Sweep the arms out and up. Look to the thumbs. Exhale, bring the hands to the heart. So let's do that again. Inhale, arms up. Exhale, bend the knees as you fold. Inhale, hands to shins, heart forward. Exhale, forward fold. Rise all the way up, inhale. Good, you got it. Exhaling, hands to heart. We'll do one more, inhaling. Exhaling, fold. Inhale, come up halfway. Exhale, fold. Rise back up, sweep the arms, look up. And exhaling, bring the hands to the heart. And then this time, let's take the arms back down at the sides. Okay, so we are gonna make our way down now. I'd like for you to grab a blanket and just set it right in the middle of your mat and come to hands and knees. Okay, so when you set up your hands and knees, we call this tabletop, you really wanna spread each and every finger. This is gonna be so important as your yoga practice progresses. Spread all 10 fingers, root each and every knuckle as best you can. Stack your shoulders over your wrists and your hips over your knees. Okay, we're gonna move through cat-cow. As you inhale, lift your heart and your hips, look ahead. And then exhale, round the spine like a cat, push into your mat. And then we keep going, inhale, cow. Exhale, cat. Good, keep it moving. Starting to open and become a little bit more aware of all these sensations through the body. We're gonna take one more. All right, nicely done. Come back to tabletop. Notice if your fingers changed already and recommit to spreading all 10 fingers. Okay, on your next inhale, lift your right leg up and back. And you're gonna reach through the heel. Keep your chest a little bit lifted, engage your core. Now, if this is pretty easy for you, you can go one step further by taking the left arm forward, your thumb faces up. Press firmly into your right palm. Go for length, keep breathing for three, two, one. Hi Shiloh, she's gonna help us out. We'll come back to tabletop. Inhale, left leg reaches back and just feel that length, keep reaching through the heel. Remember you can stay here or you can go a little deeper by taking that right arm forward. And Shiloh's gonna help me out here for three, two, one. And then one, come back to your tabletop position. Kind of swish the hips a little bit side to side. Now we're gonna come into child's pose. So bring your big toes to touch. You can take your knees a little bit wider and then your hips are gonna come back to the heels. Arms are gonna reach forward and you're gonna release your head, okay? So um, stay here for a bit. I wanna let you know that if child's pose is not super comfortable for you, that's fine. You can always come to hands and knees. Um, if your head doesn't touch the ground, here's where a block might come in handy um, for you to rest, okay? So these are all things I want you to be aware of. Okay, so stay in your child's pose for another moment. And then from your child's pose, you're just gonna walk yourself back up. And if you do have your blocks, I want you to set them on either side of your mat, okay? And we're gonna come back to tabletop. This is cute, huh? But we're not getting too much done. Thanks, Shiloh. Thanks for all your help. 
<laughs> All right, so we're gonna come back to that tabletop. All right, from your tabletop, we're gonna move into a low lunge. So here's where your blocks might come in handy and you can certainly have them on a higher level here. And you're gonna step your right foot forward. Shiloh, I just need to put my foot there. Okay, I think she's done. <laughs> now, I have my blocks here just um, to help me find a little bit of balance. You may or may not need them. What I want you to check out is make sure that your knee is over the ankle and that your right foot is facing forward, okay? And if this is pretty easy for you and you don't need your fingers on the blocks, you can certainly bring your hands to your heart center, okay? So as you're in this low lunge, your belly's gonna engage a little bit. You'll feel that as you point your tailbone down. So let's take a few moments here. Feel your breath. Remember that connection to the breath is super important. Good, one more cycle. Okay, we're gonna take a twist and I invite you to use a block for this. So my left hand will come onto the block or you can have your left fingertips. I'm gonna stretch the right arm up, turn the belly, turn the chest, turn the heart, and you can even look up. So coming into a twist, one more cycle of breath. Okay, let's unwind. And we're just gonna switch legs. So I'm gonna come back to that table. Now you know how to set it up. So you wanna check everything out that it's all stacked. Again, you can use the blocks for balance here, or you can bring your hands to the heart. Gazing straight ahead, breathing in and out through the nose. Feel the strength of the legs here. One more cycle of breathing. And then our twist. So the right hand comes down. Start by turning the belly, the chest, and then the arm goes up. So you're coming into an opening, into a twist. Okay, you'll finish your exhale, you'll unwind, and then we'll come back to that table. I'm actually gonna set my blocks off to the side now, and also set my blanket off to the side. And very briefly, come back to tabletop. We're gonna move into down dog, which um, as you move deeper into your, your uh, yoga practice, there's gonna be a lot of down dogs. So again, you wanna spread all 10 fingers. Maybe not a lot of down dogs, but you're certainly gonna find some down dogs in your yoga class. So root all 10 fingers, tuck the toes on an inhale, and on an exhale, lift the legs up and back. Now you wanna have your feet about hips width apart. I recommend having a soft bend in the knees and I'd like for you to really push your hands into the floor, lift your thighs up and back. Gaze right between the feet, two more breaths. And as you finish your breath, let's find child's pose again. So arms can come forward, release the head. Good, then from your child's pose, just walk your hands back to uh, the rest of the body. And um, from here, we're actually gonna come back to standing. So we're gonna work on a standing pose. So you can step to the very top of the mat, standing up nice and tall. We're gonna move into warrior two. So you'll start by having the right foot forward. Step back with the left foot pretty wide and your back toes are gonna to turn in at an angle. And you'll notice again, I'm gonna stack the right knee over the front ankle, stretch the arms out at the sides. So my pelvis is kind of at an angle here, okay? Arms are reaching out very strongly back of my skull is lengthening towards the ceiling. So there's a sense of length. Gaze over your front hand. One more cycle of breath. And then all we'll do is lower the arms, straighten the front leg. We're just gonna pivot and do the same to the other side. So set it up so the back toes are turned in a bit. Bend the front knee, arms reach out, feel the strength in the legs, 
and this sense of lightness in the upper body. And also we wanna feel the breath, right? We haven't forgotten about that. And then you'll finish your exhale, lower the arms. We're gonna go back to the first side and just add a little bit. So really important to set those feet back up for warrior two. Good, settle down nice and low, strong through the legs. And now we're gonna flip the palms. Okay, on your inhale, you'll straighten the front leg. Your arms are gonna come up, palms might touch. Exhale, come back to the warrior two shape. Do that again, inhale and exhale. We've got one more. Inhale and exhale. Good, just lower down. You'll pivot to the opposite side. Same thing, come into that nice strong warrior two. Flip the palm, inhale up, exhale down two more inhale and exhale last one hmm. turn those palms down you'll lower and then all ten toes will face forward I'd like for you to just toe heel your feet back together kind of like a little dance okay so that was warrior two and then we added kind of like a little uh, variation flow into it Okay, I want us to do um, a standing balance now. So if you know you're gonna need a wall, go stand near the wall, right? It'll help you with balance. We're gonna move into tree pose. So you'll start by standing on the right foot. Take the sole of your left foot either to your ankle or to your shin just below the knee. And let's start with the hands on the hips so we know that our hips are facing forward. You can keep the hands at the hips. You can bring them to the heart. If it's pretty easy for you, you can stretch the arms up, okay? I just don't want you to put this foot on the knee, right? So it's below the knee. And then you can gaze straight ahead, connect to your breath. Good, you guys, one more cycle. Okay, bring your hands back down to the heart if they were up. Shake it out a little bit, and we'll go right into that second side. So remember, it can be the ankle, it can be below the knee. Hands at the hips, chest is a little lifted here. Find one thing to gaze at as you move hands to the heart, or your arms can go up. And with balance poses, it's really where your breath becomes super important. The breath will help you to balance. And if you fall out, that's fine. Just jump back in. Okay, let's bring the hands back down to the heart and then we'll shake it out. Awesome. Okay, we're gonna go right down now into, uh, onto the floor actually. And like for you to sit with your knees bent, take your hands behind your thighs, lift your chest and engage your belly just a bit. Coming into boat pose, lift the legs, okay? So um, you can definitely keep the hands at the thighs. Um, you can take the hands down or you can take the arms out at the sides, whatever works best for you. Keep your chest lifted. Your upper body's leaning back slightly. One more round of breath here. Good, then simply just lower the legs down. Nicely done. Okay, now we're gonna come on to our backs and set up for bridge pose. So start with the soles of the feet on the mat about hips width. Have the arms at the sides and the palms flat, okay? So from here, really pressing into the feet, take an inhale, and on your exhale, lift. So of course, it's pretty easy to lift the pelvis. Try to lift the mid back and into the upper back, okay? But the head and the shoulders are down and your gaze should always be up. I don't want you to turn your head, right? So look up at the ceiling, press the feet into the floor, And then we'll roll down slowly. 
Take your sweet time on the way down. Okay, we're gonna do another one. Press into the feet on that exhale, lifting up. Okay, this time if you wanna go a little bit deeper, you can slide your shoulders underneath and you might clasp the hands. And now if that feels like it's too much, just have the arms at the sides. Stay with a breath. Okay, if you had the shoulders underneath, you release those first and then come down nice and slow. Good, okay. Now walk your feet out about as wide as the mat. Take your arms into a cactus and just, we call this windshield wipe the legs side to side. So you're just going back and forth. Nice little release for the low back and the pelvis. Little bit of a twist too. Okay, so we're gonna come back to the center now. Hug your right knee into the chest and extend your left leg straight. So just a little gentle hug in here. We're gonna move this into a twist. So your right arm will come out to rest on the side and you'll use your left arm or your left hand to guide your body into a twist. And just go as far as it feels uh, sensational for you. So you don't wanna push it, right? And so you might not be as deep as I am, which is fine. Okay, on your next inhale, you'll return onto your back. And again, hug that right knee in for a moment. And then switch. Left knee comes in, right leg extends, pause for a moment. And then the left arm comes out, move into your twist on the other side. Again, just until you feel sensation. Okay, we're gonna come back now, hugging that left knee in. And then let's hug both knees in. Rock a little bit side to side. So this is a nice massage for the low back. And then finally, we're gonna come into what we call happy baby. So you can um, either grab for the shins, the ankles, or the feet and pull your thighs down. You wanna to try to keep uh, your low back down if at all possible. And sometimes it feels nice to rock a little bit. So it's up to you if you wanna be still or if you wanna rock. Good, okay, we're gonna give ourselves a final hug. So bring the shins together, hug it in. Ah. <sighs> And we're gonna prepare for Shavasana. So Shavasana is important to do for every practice. You wanna lie flat on the back, arms at the sides with the palms up and you can let your feet flop open. Make sure the shoulders are away from the ears. Close the eyes as you're ready. Uh, typically for Shavasana, we might stay for five minutes. Uh, sometimes if you wanna stay longer, you could go 10 minutes. It's really up to you. Okay, so you always want to finish your class with this pose, no matter if you're doing five minutes or if you're doing a longer practice. Let your breath be really light. All the muscles of the face soften. Arms and legs are heavy. Our final pose, Shavasana.
Come back to your breath by taking an inhale and an exhale. Wiggle your fingers and your toes. Maybe you take a little stretch. And one by one, bend your knees. <laughs> Roll to a side. And I had a little friend with me in Shavasana. <laughs> We're going to make our way into a seat. Okay, so bring our hands together at the heart. And I want to thank you so much for your practice with me today. So to finish off, we'll bow towards ourselves. And on your inhale, come back up to your seat. So thank you so much.